Hello! We will show you how to design this web page in minutes the new way. It may become your personal secret to be steps ahead in the industry. You will be able to present stories, products, and services fast in minutes. Researches show there are only 8 seconds to impress visitors with the design. We will demonstrate this using the example. The classic way you see to the left, it's a mock-up drawn in Adobe Photoshop. We'll show you the new way. Add a new website. Add a new page. We start with the theme settings. Theme settings are used to customize colors, fonts, typography for the whole website. These styles will be used for all text elements on the web page. It's very convenient and looks nice. In the mock-up, we see that two colors are used throughout the page. We'll add those colors to the palette. Select Theme Colors. We will modify the current palette. Use the color picker to select the color. Copy the color value. Paste this value into the color 1 field. Add the second color similarly. Proceed to the fonts. We will use the font scheme and the typography set by default and we'll do the fine tuning. Select theme, headings, and texts. Modify the headings, text, and hyperlink. Later, adding these elements to sections, the styles you set will be applied automatically. For the hyperlink, there is an orange underline. Note, this hyperlink style will be used for all hyperlinks on this web page. The orange used for the line has been added in colors earlier. Set the width of this line. Setting headings and text styles help to apply the right styles in one click. It makes the page look solid, consistent, and beautiful. And it saves time a lot. We have finished with the theme. Now we are proceeding to sections, the main building blocks of the modern web design. The first section was added by default with the page. We will use it for the introduction. Let's start. Increase the section height. In the right panel, change the color fill to image fill for the section. Replace the image for the background. For the text, we'll use a container. Containers help to group, to move, and to align all nested elements at once. To add a container, select Add Container. Later, you can use this C hotkey to add a container much faster. Move the container left. Increase the width. Add a title, select Add Text Title. Add a line, select Add Line. Make the title white. Modify the title text. Please note, the style applied to the title has been set previously in the theme, headings, and text. As you see in the mock-up, the line should be orange. Also, make the line thicker and shorter. As a reminder, the orange was set in theme colors. It works the same way as in the Microsoft PowerPoint or the Apple Keynote. Align the whole block bottom. We see feature icons with texts below the title. The easiest way to add a row of similar text blocks is to use a grid. Select Add Grid. There are over a hundred of grid layouts available. Select a grid with four cells. In addition, grids are very useful for the responsive modes, as for smaller screens, cells are reordered one under another automatically. Shrink the grid height. Align the grid left. Make the grid sheet wide. While moving and aligning, you see the red lines. Those are the guides that help to snap controls to containers, sections, and to each other. Increase spacing between the cells. Delete the cell content. Select the first cell and press the delete key. Add an icon. Press the I hot key to open the dialog. In the dialog, type phone in the search field. Select a linear phone icon. Press the T hot key to add a text. Delete the last two lines of the text added by default. Now we will copy the cell to make all cells consistent. To copy, drop the cell over another holding the control key. Replace the icon in the second cell. Search for a graph icon. For the third cell, replace with the idea icon. Select a light bulb. For the fourth, use alarm keyword and select a linear bell. The first introduction section is ready. Isn't that simple? Let's add the second section. 
add a blank section. Increase the section height. We see that visually the content of this section is divided into two parts. The best is also to use a grid. Grids are very useful for the responsive modes. Select Add Grid. Add a grid with two cells. Change the height of the grid. Make the right cell bigger. Fix the alignment of the grid. Again, the red lines, the snapping guides are very helpful. Select the right cell. Collapse the image. Resize the image. Guides help to snap to the center. Replace the image by dragging another from your local folder. Enable shadow in the right panel. Select a shadow preset. Customize the shadow. Modify blur and transparency. Select the left cell. Press the delete key to clear the cell. Press L to add a line. Press 2 to add heading 2. Press T to add a text and press H to add a hyperlink. Make the line orange, thicker, and shorter. Modify the heading. Add more text. Change the hyperlink text. Align the content in the left cell by pressing the Align Options in the right panel. This section is also finished. Add a blank section. Change the background color to color 1 set in the theme settings. Increase the section height. Add a grid with two cells like for the previous section. Shrink the grid height. Make the right cell bigger. Replace the image in the right cell by dragging another image from your local folder. Select the left cell, then press the delete key. Press L to add a line. Press 2 to add heading 2. Press T to add a text. Press H to add a hyperlink. Make the hyperlink underline orange. Make the line above the heading also orange, thicker, and shorter. Turn the line 90 degrees to the top. You see the line now overlaps the previous sections. To do overlapping has never been easier. Modify the heading text. Add more text. Lastly, modify the hyperlink text. Proceed to the team section. Despite that there are many pre-designed team sections, we will do this section also from scratch. Add a blank section. Increase the section height. Add a grid with three cells. Change the grid height. Move the grid up. Guides are handy again. Add spacing between the cells. Select the first cell and collapse the background image. The image became a part of the cell content. Resize the image, snapping to the cells top, left, and right. Leave space below the image for the name and the text. Enable the fill for the cell in the right panel. Change the color to light gray. Press 4 to add heading 4 for the name and T for the text. Remove the extra text. Enter a name. Move the name and the text down, while moving red guides and sizes help to align. Slightly increase the height of the image. Replace the image with another one from your local folder. To keep cells consistent, copy the first cell into the other two. Replace the images. Modify names. Now we will add a title for this section above the grid. In the mockup, we see the heading with the line. To group these elements, we will use a container. We have already used a container to group elements in the first introduction section. Press C to add a container. Resize the container. Press L to add a line. Press 2 to add heading 2 for the section title. Modify the heading 2. Make the line orange, thicker, and shorter. Align the content vertically. The page is ready. Wasn't that fast? Click the preview to the right of the top bar. And now, here's the magic. Clicking the responsive mode icon to see that the page looks nice is all modes. It was all done automatically. Isn't that nice? Click the link in the description below this video to try how it all works for yourself. If you enjoy this video, click like and subscribe for more videos to boost your design experience. Please leave comments on how we can make this all better. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.